Hello, yogis, and welcome back. I hope it's all going well out there. It's another kind of rainy day in Maine. Um, today I want to do a class focusing on our hips. Just This is going to be an adjustable class, so you can go as deep as you want to. I'll give lots of options if you have some blocks around, maybe have those handy, maybe a blanket as well. I'm kind of bundled up. Maybe I'll take these socks off and whatnot as I get warmed up. To begin, taking the hands lightly to the knees. I'm going to stop here and offer that if you are more comfortable sitting up on a block, you can go ahead and slide a block under. Some people like to have a block between the legs, supporting them this way, or on the lower setting. So just finding a seat that works for you. But as you're ready, grounding evenly through the sits bones, take the hands to the thighs or the knees as appropriate. Let your eyes close. Moving into the breath. Take your time. The face and jaw soften. Find that gentle length through your spine. Trusting lift through the center of the crown. Openness through the back body, the back of the neck, quiet shoulders. And feel your hips soften and release any hold on the legs. The thighs settle. Next inhale. Let's pull the hands up overhead. Stretch up through the fingertips. Lift up into your heart space. And exhale. The hands sink down. A deep breath in to Om. Om. Twist. I'm going to take the left hand to the right knee today. Either way is fine. Growing up long through the spine. And exhale, gently twist to look back. Inhale, float to center. Exhale, over to the left. Unwind. We'll grow tall and turn to twist. Exhale. We'll inhale, flowing back to center. And exhale your fingers down. Gently, gently now, taking a walk forward and a bow. So if you're up on blocks or blankets, moving them aside at this point. And just maybe a small bow down toward the ground. If you excuse me, have the flexibility, you can walk the hands forward and take the brow all the way down, maybe supported by a block, maybe your hands or fists, maybe all the way to the floor. We're just going to quiet here and breathe and inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, relaxed face, the head just hangs at your edge. Feel the breath cycle through that outer hip. And gently walking it back up, sweeping the hands around behind you. We'll lift up into the heart and then lean back. Taking the legs wide, as wide as it's comfortable. Oof, maybe a good crack, getting yourself warmed up. And then we're going to take the other leg in front. Sweep the hands up overhead. And exhale, the fingers down. And taking a little walk forward. And release to your edge. 
edge. So again, bringing my brow all the way down to the floor. Maybe you're gonna stop right here. Be honest, be gentle, breathe deeply, follow your breath. And gently we'll start to walk the hands back and up. Put all this stuff aside for the moment and making our way into a wide-legged child's pose. So we won't stay here too long. We may revisit this later in class. Letting the tailbone sink back toward the heels if that's comfortable. You can slide a blanket back under your seat if uh, that's gonna make this a more sustainable posture for you. And then walking the hands forward, taking the brow down to the floor. Sigh it out, let it go. Maybe a little shift side to side. And then maybe extend that shift to press into the palms. Walk your way back up into one hip and then the other. Really feel it as you move into the low back. Until you find you've come all the way up. We'll step into our table pose. And a nice usual cat-cow. Unwinding the spine as we begin. Inhale and lift, opening the throat. Exhale and tuck. Inhale, flow through. Exhale and tuck. Press to the hands. Draw the navel back on your breath. So back and forth through cat cow. You keep going. I'm going to take your sweater off. Riding the breath through. Allow yourself to complete the motion, complete the breath patiently. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tuck. And find your way back to center. You stay as you are. I'm going to come and face you so you can see what I'm doing. So beginning, wrist creases under the shoulders. Shoulders drop away from the ears. Knees under the hips. And then with an inhale, flex that right foot and pull the right leg. So maybe you're just coming a few inches off of the ground, maybe a little higher. Maybe you can bring your leg all the way up parallel to the floor. And then exhale, we'll bring it back down, bringing some life into that right hip. Inhale and lift. And if you're going to mirror me at home, that's totally fine. Just make sure you're switching sides. Inhale one more time and lift. Exhale, bring it back down. And then we'll just start nice and easy on the left side or the other side. Inhale, again, maybe a little motion. Maybe you're smoothly bringing it all the way up. Make sure you're not working beyond your edge. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring it down. Now that we're warmed up again, the right side, we're going to take that right leg up and hold. With an inhale, drawing the knee forward. And then take that heel around behind the body. Take a look over the left shoulder. Inhale, pull it back around, knee toward the nose. And sweep. One more time. Inhale, pull it through. Exhale, we're going to take that leg, sweep it back around and step over the left leg. Deep breath in. And exhale, taking a look over the left shoulder. Side body opening. And stepping it back to center. Other side. We'll inhale, the left leg rising. And again, 
Draw the knee toward the nose. Exhale, float the heel around behind the back. See if you can look for that heel over the right shoulder and then inhale, sink the motion to the breath. If this is too much for the hip, stop, maybe shake it out. Two, and then last time, we'll inhale. Point the toes as you sweep back this time, stepping the left foot over the right, drawing a deep breath in. And exhale, side body bend, reaching back through that left inner heel. And stepping back to center. So I'm going to come back into my regular position here. Walking the hands forward, one palm's length, tucking the toes under, and floating the hips back. Give a gentle press, spreading the fingers, spreading the toes. Feel your points of contact, steady. Feel that gentle lift through the navel, the hips, the thighs draw back. Let's inhale, rise up on the toes, opening the toe joints, crack, and then exhale, the heels back down. Take the right foot up and back and stretch. Again, we're gonna, <laughs> I'm getting used to this room though. Sweeping all the way up. And this time we're going to come straight forward and through a high lunge position. Right knee directly over the right heel. Oh, I'm going to do away with these socks. You just hold there in your high lunge. Lengthening the spine, do away with. I'm going to take them off. Cast them out. Okay. Nice head lunge. Remember to hold that on the other side. Sweeping up through the fingers as you sink a little into the left hip. Growing to your heart. And a few more times. We're going to take the thumbs in, pull it back, open space, forward and through, and lift. Moving around your core. And rise and then exhale, pull it back, hold, hands come down with control, we'll step back down, dog, lift the left heel up and back, stretch to your edge, good stretch up the back of the right leg, even weight through the hands, open space between the shoulders, deep breath in, stepping it through, high lunge on the side. No ground and lengthen. Maybe rise to the fingertips. Feel the weight in the left heel. Balance with the right foot. Fire up your core and we'll lift through the fingers all the way up. Shoulders relax. And inhale. Growing to your heart. Maybe a little arch back. The thumbs come in. We'll pull them back. Pull the fingers toward the back wall. Inhale. Floating through. Draw that big arc up. And exhale. The hands back. And reach. Palms down to the floor. Stepping back downward dog. And here we're going to have some options. So rising up now. Back to the toes. Draw that navel back, and so we're going to take the right foot up and back. And if possible, staying up on the left toes, this isn't for everybody. And maybe drawing some big circles with the right toes, nice and slow. Feel the rotation through that hip. If that's not working for your body, take that left heel back down toward the floor, and draw some circles with the right knee. This can be a more gentle, adjustable. So if it's appropriate to be up high here, one more big sweep around. We'll sweep the right toes straight back. Take a look forward and through and step. Again, floating the hands up overhead, sinking into that left hip. This time we're going to arch back. See if we can take the weight onto the right foot, pull the thumbs back and lift. Woo! With control, with more control than that, find your airplane. Set it back and lift. All right, one more time. Let's see if through this shaggy carpet and mat, I can hold my balance. 
Yes. <laughs> and we'll step it back. Hands come down. Plank position. Let's hold in plank. Wrist creases under the shoulders. Fingers spread wide. Feel your knuckles. Draw the navel in. Heart forward. Reaching back through the inner heels. Quiet through the elbows. And shifting back, down dog. So you can hold right here in down dog. You can rise up to your toes. Keep length in the spine as you rise up. If appropriate, staying up on the right toes, sweeping the left foot up overhead and starting to draw those big circles. If being up on the toes is not appropriate, sink back in toward the heel, bend the knee. And take a hip opener that's going to work for your body. Nice and slow and thoughtful, patient. Whew. We'll take that left foot back, sink into the right heel. Take a look forward and step it through. Inhale and rise. Loading up into the heart, connect through the left foot. See how I do on this side? Take the thumbs in and fly. Fire in your core. Stretch and long. Stepping down with control again. Inhale and rise. Exhale, thumbs come down and float. I'm going to blame the shaggy carpet. Blame your carpet. <laughs> Stepping back. The hands come down. Plank position. Let's shift through transition. So either, for some here, I'll take it with you, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Pointing the toes. Pulling through either a gentle cobra. Maybe a little higher. So wherever you are in cobra, the hips are in contact with the floor. Maybe you're down low. Rolling it back. Child's pose and breathe. Let's reach forward through the fingers, rock up into the heart, tuck the toes, lift the hips back, down dog. Taking a look forward, we're going to step or float up and fold. So stepping the feet about hip width apart and letting the body just flop down over the legs like a rag doll, shaking out the head a little yes or no. We're going to roll up now, one vertebrae at a time. Feel your spine stack. Going all the way up into the heart. Stretching into a little back bend and exhale. Hands come all the way down. And breathe. So let's just find our nice even footing. Eyes closed, standing meditation. One more full body breath. And then let's ground onto the left foot. A little leery of all of these balance plans I had here today. So we're going to draw that right knee up and in until you find your edge. Maybe wiggle out the joints a little bit. And let's just step into a tree pose. So in tree, your toes can be to the floor, pad of the foot to the calf, pad of the foot maybe to the inner thigh. If you want to take the half lotus bound variation, bound or unbound, I guess, you can have the, the foot there and maybe reaching that right hand around behind the back into heart center, if that's appropriate to your body. I'm going to take just a regular foot to thigh, opening the right knee out, hugging the navel in slightly, the tailbone down, and then we'll rise up. <laughs> The palms give. I would have my arms slightly wider, but my ceiling is right here. And then we're going to take the hands together, interlace the fingers, and send an imaginary beam of light up to the stars. 
Send your roots down to the center of the earth. Open space all around yourself. The breath slow. And from here, I'm going to turn again so I can face you properly on this mat. We're going to step that right foot back into a warrior two position. Bending into the left knee. See if you can open out the left knee just enough to have a line of vision to the outside of the left big toe. A quiet through the hips. Tailbone sinks down, pressing to the outer blade of the right foot. Gaze out over the left middle finger. A little tuck of the navel. Steady the gaze. Ground through your feet. We'll take that right hand down and lift the left fingers in a big arc back. And then we'll set up for our side angle pose. So in some cases, I want to block and I recommend to the outside of that left foot. You can have the elbow to the thigh, the hand to the block on any setting. Maybe the fingers come all the way down to the floor and we're going to take the fingers, the right fingers up overhead, draw that arm in line with the ear, spin the right ribs open, find length and breathe. One more deep breath. Gently right fingers down. Step to the inside of the left foot and heel toe the foot over to the outside of the mat. So both hands can be under the shoulders inside of that left foot. We'll reach back through the right inner heel. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Lizard pose. If it's comfortable to your body, taking that right knee down, point the toes back, and breathe. If it's comfortable to your body, you can start to step down onto the elbows. So in some cases, you're going to want a block for support, and we'll bow the head down wherever you find your edge. So maybe you, are stay, you, <laughs> maybe you stay up on your hands, maybe you use a block on any setting, maybe you bring the elbows all the way to the floor. Where you find your edge, rest the eyes, rest the face, breathe through that left hip. Gently step back up onto the hands if you come down to the elbows. Tuck the right toes under. And see if you can send the left toes straight back. Three-legged dog. Wiggle, wiggle it out. And digging the left foot down, walking out your dog, bending one knee, then the other. or floating up to the front of your mat and making your way up to stand any way that you like. Rolling up high ceiling and then exhale, hands to the heart. Other side, we're going to ground onto the right foot and step either left toes to the floor, foot to the calf, foot to the inner thigh, or if you want to do the bound variation, you move your way. Little hug in, put the navel and the tailbone down and a rise through the crown. Feel really grateful for this time and this space. I mean, right now, doing this. Relaxed hands, open heart, just a little lift to the heart, a little sense of giving. And pull those hands up together. Interlacing the fingers, first fingers extend, 
Send the tailbone down and your roots through the bottom of the right foot. Center of the earth, beam of light, imagine up through the stars. One more deep inhale. And I'm going to step the left foot back, a warrior two position on this side. Ground through the right heel, balance the weight with the left foot, opening out the right knee, see that big toe? back, reach through the fingers. We're going to find our edge, a good side body opener. And then float again forward through the fingers, setting up for our side angle pose. So either forearm to the thigh, fingers to a block, fingers to the floor, shifting open those left ribs. The left arm comes in line with the ear and stretch. Remember that your hands and fingers are part of this practice. I'm saying that because I have a tendency to forget and sometimes I clench my hands and fingers. So just let them be present and quiet, but engaged. Stretching long outer blade of the foot through the fingertips. Deep breath in. And exhale, we'll take the left hand down. Heel toe the right foot to the outside of the mat. The hands to the inside of the right foot and lengthening into lizard pose. Quiet shoulders. If it feels good to you, appropriate to your body, take the knee down, point the left toes back. You can hold right here and just bow the head down or step elbows to a block or elbows all the way to the floor. And if you don't have a block, you can improvise at home, maybe a couple blankets or a firm pillow or some books, anything to give you a little height. Maybe another rolled up yoga mat, those can be very helpful. When you find your edge, just let it all go. left toes under, send the right foot back, and hold the position, just breathe here, full body breath, and drop the knees down, allowing the hips to shift side to side, so maybe this is a little motion, you get into the outsides of the hips and the low back, and maybe you can bring the hips all the way down to the floor on either side, so give that a try, find your edge. Back to center. So you're going to come into a seated position. I'm going to get those socks again. Maybe the sweater as well. Because the rest of the class is going to be a bit quieter. So if you've built up a little heat, maybe you want some socks for this part too. So for this next posture, there are going to be some different ways we can go about it. Those of you who come to my classes, we do this often. You probably know where you're going, so you can <laughs> get straight to it. The first case would be that you can take your left heel to your right knee 
and comfortably stack the shins in front of you. And that's not the case for most bodies, I would say. A lot of the time that left knee wants to come up, in which case you could grab a block, offer some support there. And if that's not really feeling comfortable working for your body, go ahead and take the left leg in front of the right leg. Set yourself kind of like this. You can support this with a blanket under your seat if you want. If that's not working, just take the heels close to under the knees, cross-legged position, left leg in front. So wherever you find your edge, let's set up. Take the fingers down in front. Draw yourself tall up into the heart space. And then exhale, we'll walk it forward. Slowly, slowly, let yourself release. Let the face go, let the head go. Relaxing to your edge. So again, maybe you can bring a block under your brow. Be very nice as you rest. Maybe you're at two blocks and you have those handy. You can have two blocks and just lean forward. Wherever you find your edge, breathe to it. We'll take three more full breaths here. And walking our way back up. And slow, really taking our time. This is a nice, long hold. We're going to uncross the legs gently, take the feet down, and rock the knees a little side to side. Release those hips and into the low back. And then getting ready to set up on the other side. Square the left shin forward. If it's appropriate, taking the right heel to the left knee, stacking the shins forward. So the side might be completely different than the other side. And if that's the truth of your body, honor that rather than where you think <laughs> you should be in this posture. So maybe adding a block on this side, again, going through the, the motions, maybe the right leg in front, maybe cross-legged. But as you find your comfortable position or comfortable-ish, you're stretching, but you don't want to be in real pain here. Then we're going to take the heart forward and work your way down. Just slowly notice what's going on on this side, what you're holding, where you're holding, and dropping that head down. As you find your edge, maybe you can support your brow, either with your hands or blocks. I'm just going to hang out here. Completing each breath. Nice and slow. Time, let's lean it back. Take the feet down and rock knees side to side. And then we're going to swing. Actually, you might still be facing forward. I'm going to swing my legs around, take my weight down onto my back, and set up for a happy baby. So, happy baby. Could be just holding your shins and pulling the legs down toward the floor beside you. It could be taking hold of the outer blades of the feet and working the knees down toward the floor. Whatever you find you're comfortable 
Let the back of the head go, the shoulders quiet. And if you'd like to take a gentle rock side to side, releasing the back, muscles around the spine. Take a little rock. And maybe extending one leg. Get a good hip stretch, one last hip stretch. After all of this work, and maybe the other leg. And maybe both legs together, only if that feels good to you. Deep breath in. And draw the legs back. And then let's gently extend one leg, other leg. And set yourself up for Shavasana. If you want to pause the video here, take any last poses, postures, or motions. I know we didn't really do an inversion in this class. If you'd like to do that before Shavasana, feel free. Once you're ready, making your way into your resting position. The neck releasing the head. Feel the full weight of the head. The eyes relax back. Quiet to the face, the crown. Complete relaxation through the head and then down through the neck as the sides of the neck release. The throat clear and bright, back of the neck open. And the shoulders give in, melting back to the floor. The shoulders release the upper arms and the elbows release the lower arms. And the wrists release the fingers, or the palms, <laughs> the hands release the fingers. Feel that gentle weight. And quiet the heart. Space through your chest. The upper back relaxed. And the belly quiet. Releasing the side. The low back relaxed. Feel the weight of the hips and pelvis. Hips release the upper leg. Let go of the thighs and the knees release the lower leg. Let go of the calves and the ankles release the feet. The feet release the toes. Space through your body, let yourself go. And allow yourself to relax here for as long as is appropriate today. I'm going to come and sit up and sign off for today. Namaste. Thank you all. Love to you. Be well.